ready for action. All right, what's up, yes, YouTube, sir. Facebook, Instagram? How y'all doing tonight? This is TK from Comic Insider, and I'm here tonight talking with my good friend, Jason Mark Sable. How you doing, man? What's up? What's up, Sable here? Good to see you, man. Always a pleasure, TK. Always a pleasure. Yeah, so, I mean, how, how, how you doing? Everything going on in this crisis? I mean, this is some crazy times. I mean, originally, we were wanting to get our interview with you at the next Comic-Con event we are going to be at, but... Yeah, I don't know about you, but my next 10 events are shut down, and so on with everybody I know so far. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much every event that I was expected to go to over the next uh, two months is done. Uh, I've got a couple that I was planning on jumping in, kind of like backdooring in at the end of the summer. Those are done. Um, right now, it looks like only one thing might still be happening for my whole summer. So it's, it's definitely a weird year. Definitely a weird year. Yeah, for us, we had uh, 10 events cancel out on us, and it's crazy. Uh, I think the only one that's still going right now is uh, Huntsville, uh, the uh, uh, Comcom Pop Culture Expo that they got in uh, mm -hmm. Alabama. But other than that, it, it's crazy times. I, and once again, wanted to say thank you so much for being on the show because, uh, you know, I put this post up, you know, about a week ago, and I, I thought about five or six of my, you know, celebrity friends would respond, and it turned out like, I mean, heck, you saw the, uh, you know, in the comments, there was like 30-something replies in the comments. I had another 20 celebrity mm -hmm. friends hit me up in Messenger. I'm like, all right, man, at least uh, we can still put out content that, you know, so uh, keep yeah. us all relevant. <laughs> but uh, so Yeah, that's important. Yeah, man. So, uh, you know, I want for, you know, the fans of Comic Insider and just for... You know, your fans and, you know, just random people that stumble across this interview. Uh, you know, tell everybody a little bit about some of the artwork you do and, uh, you know, just a little bit about what you do real quick, man. All right. Well, again, I'm Jason Mark Sobel. Um, I've been doing artwork professionally for almost 20 years now. I uh, started up uh, putting on my own comic book with a, a group called Fuzzy Dice Studios and then Vicious Circle. Uh, and uh, so I did Forsaken Earth and worked on a bunch of other little independent titles with those two groups. Um, then I got kind of picked up with doing sketch cards, and I've been doing licensed work with Marvel and Star Wars and Lord of the Rings and I mean, countless other groups ever since, did Firefly and Heroes and just done lots of little marketing stuff. Uh, got in, did a, I've done awesome. a couple of, of really cool projects with Lucasfilm and uh, I'm still doing a lot of that stuff, but I'm also working on my own thing again. I just decided that about a year ago, I really just wanted to get back into something that was about me and something that I cared about a lot more than just, hey, look, I'm getting to, to play in someone else's you know, toy box. As much as I love other people's toy boxes, I grew up with comics, the sci-fi, uh, but I, I'm happy to be able to do my own little comic that I'm getting ready to put out. That's awesome, man. Shark man. That is awesome. So uh, I wanted to talk for a second. You said, you know, you've, and I've seen some of the great work you do, uh, the Marvel uh, stuff, but uh, I wanted to talk for, also, you do uh, some sketches with some DC stuff, man. I saw that John Wesley ship, yeah. uh, and I saw the video on that. Yeah. That, that was fantastic, man. And uh, Thanks, man. Yeah, uh, oh, that is so awesome. That is the... Uh, Earth 90, if y'all don't know that, for the Flash fans, or if you're new to the Flash, the Earth 90 Flash, which is, that is amazing. Yeah, that was so, a really cool, uh, really cool cameo, uh, a couple of cameos. Um, yeah, I grew up watching him as the Flash for as, as short as that show was. He, he was my live action Flash as a kid, so yeah, that and, was really cool. I, I gotta say, you know, I'm he's a good friend. We did uh, our first uh, interview with uh, John at uh, Pensacon 2019. And, uh, man, I was talking to him, uh, you know, I'm going to be trying to set up an interview for next week with him. And, uh, yeah, I mentioned uh, your artwork, man. So after this interview, man, if, it, you know, want to post up uh, that picture in the comments, man, I was going to tag him in it so he could see your artwork, man, because cool. it, cool. it, it's fantastic, man. And, like, 
How, how long is it? Like, I, I saw the video, and I've seen some of the videos of your work, like, uh, on sketches versus uh, before, you know, the whole coronavirus thing, versus now when you got a little bit more, because everybody has to stay at home free time, man. How, how long does it take yeah. to, to do one of these, I mean, not just the John Wesley ship, the or 90 Flash, but, it, you know, any of your sketches, man, any of your artwork, how, how long does it usually start to finish? So... I, what I, I learned a long time ago is that if you're working uh, a on a deadline, if you're in your own home or your own studio, or if you're at a convention and people are waiting, you got to learn to move quick. So I, I with a sketch, like a pencil sketch, I could be done with a full body in about forty minutes or less, and that's I'm going to get into a lot of detail with that. With with something like that, flash, I was done with the whole thing in about a half hour, um, and that's really just because I, I haven't drawn uh, him. I've drawn the flash a lot. Right, uh, right. Done some jobs for DC, but I had not drawn him as the Flash ever, so I really had to make sure that I got that likeness right. Uh, and that takes a little bit more time, so about a half hour. I think the video sped it down to like four minutes because uh, I use iMovie when I do all. I, I shoot on an iPhone and I transfer to my iPad, so it speeds everything up, and it just so it's it's not real time anymore. And then I, I you know, so it looks really fast, um, and it is compared to some other artists. I know there are some guys and girls that work faster than me. I just I tend to be pretty quick, and uh, with the time at home, I try to when I'm doing more f larger or full pieces, whether it be full backgrounds, full colors, whatever the case may be, I could spend anywhere from three hours to ten hours on a single drawing or painting, uh, just based on what the goal is for the the overall. Well, say art say for example. Uh... For example, the uh, Lucas Films. You said you did some artwork for them. Uh, I think. Uh, you, you, have you uh, done the Mandalorian one? That was that one of them. Oh, or, I've uh, done quite a few Mandalorian pieces. Not any for them yet, but I've done Mandalorian pieces. Uh, as soon as that show came out, had a lot of people just oh, can you draw this character? Can you draw this character? Can you draw this character? So uh, I, I don't have it at my hand here, but like a Quill, I did a Quill right away. And I've done other characters from the show. Um, let's see. If I've, I've, I've got a bunch of Star Wars stuff here. I'm just not sh quite sure if I have any Mandalorian stuff right in front of me. No, I don't. Um, but I've, I've got, I, you know, it's like I do everything. I do illustration, but I also paint. And I paint with every media. So I've got, you know, I do gouache stuff. I do color pencil. I do acrylic. So I've got some, you know, pretty much all the big characters from that show I've done a piece of. Most of them have sold already, which is great. Uh, but That's it's, awesome. Man. It's always nice to be able to keep working, and I, one of my favorite things about the Mandalorian—not just that it, it's, it's a great western in the middle of that Star Wars universe—but I love anytime uh, something that we all think we know everything about can introduce new characters that we're actually interested in. Right. So would, for me, that was a great show, just because every episode is like, oh, you know, we get to see more of these characters and get even more intrigued by them. Yeah, I gotta say that it is a great show. I mean. Uh, funny thing, uh, I, the whole reason I ended up getting Disney Plus was just for The Mandalorian. Yeah. At I first, mean, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely, uh, I can't wait for season two. Let's can't wait. It, but, you know, so originally, my family, we all talked about Mandalorian, and we're all excited for all the new Marvel shows, but uh, then as soon as we started looking at new things that were coming out, and when they announced, like, Clone Wars, the final season, we've been watching that every week. And we love it. And uh, now, you know, there's been talk of a new Rebels show. Of course, that's probably going to be postponed now because rumor has it everything uh, through all the Disney studios. It's all being postponed temporarily. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, that's that's pretty much starting to go on everywhere. That's going to go on everywhere. So we've, we've really enjoyed, uh, in my house, The Mandalorian and now getting to go back and watch more of the, the Clone Wars. Yeah, funny, funny thing on The Mandalorian... Uh... You know, everybody's uh, been freaking out, you know, with this uh, this craziness of pandemic on masks and stuff. You know, uh, I went to, uh, you know, Amazon Prime yesterday just for a laugh. I'm like, you know what? If, if I'm going to have to wear a face mask going out in the public, if it's getting bad like this, I just went ahead and ordered a Mandalorian, the whole helmet. It's awesome. <laughs> that way, next awesome. time I go to the store, it's like, all right. <laughs> Well, I know I've got a balaclava, the, the face mask, like, like the skin tight cloth face mask, uh, from when I do 501st stuff. And, uh, and, and like, you know, maybe I should just wear my balaclava out in public. But it used to be that if I wore something like that out in public, people thought that I was getting ready to, you know, cause a scene and, and make a problem. 
And I guess, you know, now it's... Now that, it's, now it's normal. Being, <laughs> it's being responsible, yeah. yeah it's it, being responsible with a little funny twist. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. all right, well, man, I can't keep you on here all night. And once again, appreciate you for being on the show. But before we do go, I want to, uh, you know, see once again for the fans, in case they missed it, or, you know, just anybody that stumbles across the interview, uh, where to find you on your page, uh, you, you know, channel and everything. Just be able to check right. out your artwork, man. Fantastic, man. Thank you. Well, the, the web page is being redeveloped right now, so it's jasonsobelart.com. I think if you go there right now, there's just a big placeholder, but that's being worked on. I've been you talk with my web developer constantly. Uh, my Instagram page, just it's Jason Mark Sobel. I think it's, it might even be just Jason Sobel. I, 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 I'm so computer literate, I'm going to have to go look that up myself while, while I'm on here just so that I can make sure I give you the right information because that would be stupid if I gave you the wrong information. Um, so, uh, and then Facebook, Jason Mark Sobel, M-A-R-K-S-O-B-O-L. So I'm, I'm going to my, my Instagram now just because I don't ever I don't ever go with, you know, it's your own Instagram. Yeah, you know, I, I'm the same with my own. Instagram. I, I think uh, I check it like once a week. <laughs> That's well, it. The, the problem was I used to have one account and it was, and I, I used it for my personal stuff. And then I did one for my art account. So yeah, it's just Jason Sobel with no spaces. All right. J-A-S-O-N-S-O-B-O-L, no spaces. And, uh, you know, man, it, it, I appreciate it. You know, so Instagram, uh, you, the YouTube, I've got Jason Sobel art and it's, uh, you know, you'll, you'll recognize this ugly mug, but as a drawing and, uh, I've got a couple videos up there. I've got more that I shot. I just need to put them up and I've, I've been working like crazy during this pandemic. So I've been, I would love it if other people came in and join me and could watch some videos and, sh- you know, hit me up on Instagram or on Facebook. You heard it from the legend himself. So comment and sire, like and subscribe. Remember, we're the only channel that has a clean bill of health from Doctor Doom, Doctor Strange, Doctor Fate, and Doctor Who. We will see you in the multiverse. Gotta run. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Men, and you should like, subscribe, watch, and tell all your other friends to like and subscribe. Comic Insider.